Thursday and uh, it's um, overcast here and it's about to get cold so I guess winter has decided to arrive a very quick post today maybe I'll come back later maybe not the main thing I want to do is I want to congratulate David Sequoia Flame and Jeffrey Scott Greer the record fiend I just purchased I put just ordered um, record fiends new album and uh, I want to congratulate David on getting this done if you all don't know David Sequoia Flame is one of the people who got a hold of me and made my records happen so David is, a, is an amazing person he's not the only one but I'm gonna give a lot of props to you David um, making records is not cheap and it's a lot of work and I want to hear from you after you start mailing them out I want to hear how you feel about it because I have been I've kept my mouth shut it's a lot of motherfucking work and you will shortly you're going to uh, sh share with folks that the truth of this matter um, unless you do it you have no idea how much work it takes um, the album looks beautiful I already have the music on CD I'm just really happy for both Jeffrey and David that this has happened kudos to you guys can't wait for it to arrive I I didn't get a shirt I'm pinching pennies guys with that in mind I want to shout out to and encourage people to check out Chris Ollie rules the solar system he's got a new retrospective out I haven't bought it yet because I'm a broke-ass musician what am I doing trying to support another broke-ass musician um, if it was on vinyl this time I'd fork it out even though I don't have it you know what I'm saying but I do it on the vinyl but folks that are buying music that claim to really like music especially psychedelic music or stuff like John Frusciante or Elephant Six Chris is the man y'all I don't know you know fuck you can listen to his music online and find out for yourself you know um, trying to think of someone who's doing well that okay this is just a someone's gonna slap me but I think that you know if Chris had the same access he'd make record better records to my ears than Beck okay have a heart attack I said it that's what I think because I don't rate Beck too much at all <laughs> Beck is good but he's no genius and you know I'm not saying that Chris is either but I'm saying Chris is pretty pretty damn good real damn good I'll share a thought or two before I go um, I received some VC I love yesterday from glowing cabbage he sent me a DVD and I've only uh, I haven't really watched it yet Bobby Praveet Praveet and uh, Jamie Saft and Skerrick I know I'm gonna dig it I, I like Bobby Praveet if I look down here right quick maybe I can find his album to show you right quick yep pushing the envelope this is one of Bobby's albums that I have so uh, I do appreciate very much uh, Jeff glowing cabbage double cabbage you sending this to me and uh, I'll be checking it out today or the next day what I have been watching is uh, more um, stuff from the History Channel and National Geographic lately and um, kind of boning up on the Mayan calendar and some uh, of the ancient Egypt Egyptian stuff that I had forgotten about and only had ever half learned. It's got me musing on the, uh, the ages, you know, and indeed I totally agree that we are at the end of the Iron Age, that we are in the Dark Ages that the way that we're living on this planet is so out of balance you know the fact that we live in a patriarchal society I always knew see even as a little boy when they were teaching me that Christianity crap I said it don't make sense that God is being represented as a man that doesn't make sense to me it makes sense to me that a better picture of of universal creation is one where it's in balance male and female balancing each each other out but that indeed the the uh, mother 
of the universe is recognized. The woman. Ain't no, ain't no life popping out of a man's ass. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, boy, we, you know, it's like mankind really lost the plot a long time ago. The idea of a golden age that has passed and will return every 26,000 years or so makes complete sense to me, you know. You know, and the idea that we're living in the most advanced time of technology, boy, boy, what a fucking lie. I mean, that is just that self-serving bullshit. It's like, if we were in the highest state of mankind, we would be acting in benevolence. I truly, I know that's a fact, because high knowledge seeks to, how do I put it into words? It's not self-serving. The powers that be and patriarchy is self-serving. My understanding of matriarchy was not that the woman had it all, but that she w she was recognized and honored, and and the male and female energy were honored, and and people worked together, and it rightfully put the woman in a place of great esteem, love, and respect. Not that she had to be over the man, but like this. But it makes sense that the woman would be queen because she's having, she's bringing the life. Ain't man, ain't man procreating no life. Ain't no babies dropping out of our ass or our nuts. And it just, again, as I kind of reflect on these things, because I'm always thinking about shit, it makes sense. And I'm glad that I never got married because many people enjoy marriage, but marriage and raising children in this society, in this power, mad, patriarchal setup is such a struggle. It's not set up for the purpose of raising people um, healthily. You, you, you start a family, you raise kids, and the first collateral damage is the kids because your ass is so hard put trying to make money to raise them. And they're the first people to get um, kicked by the, the roadside. Look at, look at today's society and tell me this ain't true, in large part. If it's not true about you, I ain't talking about you. But I'm talking about a whole lot of motherfuckers, okay? Whole lot of people fucking up. This is what's on my mind. And um, that's what I want to share today as opposed to talking about some records, you know. Talk about some records later. Maybe, maybe not. Pulled up my Sacred Earth... Um, sweatshirt that I got um, years ago from working with the uh, God and Charts Monk Monastery from from um, originally from Tibet but they're uh, exiled in India it says it on the back see that Tibet I hope so real proud real proud of this look at how brilliant it is I've had this since 1993 it still looks almost brand new it's been washed several times how about that One more thing I want to say. I'm sort of in a. I'm listening to Talk in Color, uh, Microburst Remix. This is just awesome. Let me take it back for just. This is just so good. This is something I found online. Uh, Blog. I don't even know if it was ever pressed on vinyl. I think the I think what's what's on my mind to, to to end with is I think I want to continue to piggyback on my thoughts and feelings about values a little bit. I want to shout out to people like DJ Trish, who I know deals with uh, a lot of barbaric, insensitive, uh, seemingly inhuman people and behavior. And I just want to send you some love, young, young lady. You're not alone. And you are divine. And the fact that you get treated the way you do is just, is just confirmation of the fact that we're in the lowest of times, the darkest of ages. All of our leaders are fools and buffoons. They don't care anything about mankind. Nothing. It's all for the self. And these buffoons and idiots and lowlifes that come around and talk like 
idiots to you, Trish, or anyone else. They're just members of that pack. Lost. Just lost. You know, the uh, Mayan calendar points to um, the astrological lining up that's coming up on uh, in December in tw of 2012. You know, I know that that's, that's an event that they're talking about is this lining up of stars in a really, it's just only happens, you know, every... So, at the very least, I take that as the sign that it's the beginning of the turnaround. Unfortunately for me, the turnaround is probably going to take, you know, the next 15, 2,000, 5,000 years, you know, or longer for mankind to start to show any progress. So, <laughs> I sure won't be around. But that's how it's looking to me, you know. And um, it has a lot, of, again, it has a lot to do with why I generally... I like to dance and I'll go out and party a little bit with the faint and 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 icky blossoms and sometimes club but mostly the way that we are interacting with each other and the way that we objectify each other completely as sexual objects in a non-divine light distresses me you know I really hate how women throw themselves at men because to get the attention. I know this is not universally true, but there's a whole lot of it going on, folks. I always say that because I don't want to hear from you folks saying, that's not true. Yes, it is. Maybe it's not true for you, but it's true. I'm saying it because I'm observing it. And it's all over our culture worldwide. These are things on my mind this morning. You know, um, and then what, and so then the idea that in when if man is acting in greater harmony that um we would likely be living in a matriarch a matriarchy and that you know sex would be divine what do i think where do i think that homosexuality fits in with that i think it still fits in because remember we're talking about balance there is no such thing as perfection. And so the idea that human attraction would, could, would, would still, and still does happen within the sex, seems completely normal to me. It makes sense though, that the majority would strive to be in balance and in harmony with each other's sex. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if I were able to take on a partner, a, a female partner, you know, if I were more in balanced and able to take on a partner, how much more powerful that would make the two of us and what I'm trying to do. I'm well aware of that. But I'm, I'm openly admitting I'm aware of my own imbalance in my own life. And I don't think I can just snap it up and make it um, change like that. I think I'm better staying to myself than making a woman miserable trying to get it together in this lifetime. <laughs> I'll end this by, again, congratulating David Sequoia Flame and Jeffrey Scott Greer, The Record Fiend. Can't wait for my copy of that vinyl.